Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. My name is Brian Zakowski and we are exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5. And this particular video is about transforming pattern tiles. So, if you don't have a document open and would like to follow along, go ahead and create a new document from File and then go to New. And whatever the default is that you see, go ahead and choose that. And that would be fine. Okay, now your preferences in Windows are going to be under Edit, and here on the Mac they are under Illustrator. So I'm going to go to Preferences, go to the General Preferences, and there is an option in here called Transform Pattern Tiles. This is currently checked. I think by default it's not. I'm not really sure. I could be lying to you. Who knows? But for now I'm going to click OK with that. And... Uh, here on the on the document, my canvas here, um, my artboard, actually is the proper term in Illustrator, is a lady with a plate of cookies, and in the original cartoon that I created her for, she is actually offering these cookies to a plumber who's working in her toilet with his arms down in the toilet, and apparently the toilet had been clogged. So you know what is kind of pouring out, and it's all over him. So, and she's offering him a plate of cookies. Now I chose her because she has um, this dress on that, um, in this particular version of her, doesn't have any um, any detail in the uh, in the clothing here. So, in order to show you what I'm going to show you, I have to show you something else that. It's kind of a teaser that we'll get into later on. It's in uh, something called the Appearance Panel. So if you don't have this panel open anywhere, go to your window and go down to Appearance and select that. Go ahead and open that. Okay. Now, this character is grouped, grouped heavily actually, because there's a lot of little pieces going on in there. So I'm going to Let's see. Double click to enter the group, which is called um, isolation mode. And you can see that there's a group here. And um, this is also grouped, her dress, with some other little shapes. So I'm going to double click that one more to go in even, even deeper into the group. So if I select her dress now, and uh, over here in the appearance panel, this fill, I know it was showing before we did this because I was already playing with her before the video started. I was kind of playing around with it. Um, if I was to select uh, a different fill, you can do that by clicking the little down arrow next to the color swatch. And you can go ahead and choose different colors and such. All right. I'm going to undo that. I don't want to go too much into the appearance panel right now because I'm showing you something specific. I just needed to go in here in order to apply something here. Now, in Illustrator, you can have layers of effects on top of effects by way of the appearance panel. In my fill here, which is the fill of the shape of her dress, if I click this little down arrow, there's an option. Um, opacity and we're not getting into that so I'm gonna go back and undo that but I just wanted to show you that you can any types of uh, parameters or or um, what's another word for it like variables would be uh, layered down in there <clears throat> so with the fill selected I'm gonna hit, click on this little icon here it means duplicate selected item and it created a new one and uh, I don't know if it created the new one right under it or if it just created a new one and kept that selected I'm not sure but now with um, being that it's on top if I go ahead and select something like a pattern like this pattern right here which I believe is in there by default now you can see that on top of that green of her dress it applied that pattern of what they call leaves <clears throat> alright so 
now now that I have this fill on top of that color I can go ahead and double click outside of the character and we are no longer in isolation mode so we're outside of the group right now so if I go ahead and um, grab one of my <clears throat> control handles here and scale it you'll notice that the pattern in her dress got proportionally smaller as I scaled her down. If I scale it back up, same thing. And if I take my cursor and bring it close to this control point right here, just in just the right way, I get the little curved arrow, the little bent one, and I can go ahead and you know turn the turn the object and you can see that the pattern went right along with it and reflected that turn. I'm going to undo that. And as we all know, undo is our friend. Probably the biggest friend you'll ever have working with any piece of software. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm kind of having a cold here and congestion, so please forgive the, uh, the throat clearings. I know that can probably get annoying, and I apologize for that. Okay, see now we have... Um, hmm... Let me gather my thoughts. Okay, yes. Now, if I go back to the preferences, uh, general, and uncheck transform pattern tiles, click OK, and I go ahead and scale her down. I'm holding down shift as I'm doing it to scale her proportionally. You'll notice that the pattern did not change. I'll show you that one more time. Kind of scale it right back up. Keep your eye on one of the leaves in that pattern. I'm going to scale her up. And you'll notice that leaf, if, in case that's the one you were looking at, that's the one I was looking at, is stays the same. And same thing if I was to go ahead and grab right close to there and rotate the object. Same thing. The pattern stays where it was. It's not budging. I'm going to undo her. <coughs> undo her that sounded bad all right anyway that in a nutshell is what this option here this this preference is transform pattern tiles now later on we're gonna get a lot deeper into uh, these types of things into the appearance panel and patterns and such we're gonna be creating our own patterns from scratch so stay tuned for that and uh, for CartoonSmart.com, I am Brian Zakowski. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.